Ever wondered how to bring a twist to your regular chicken satay? Imagine a dish that marries the enticing flavors of Thai cuisine with a modern twist. Today, discover a recipe that does just that. Thai-inspired chicken satay skewers served with a flavorful peanut sauce and a side of coconut lime quinoa. This culinary masterpiece is known as the Thai Fusion Delight. Start by preparing the chicken satay. Take a pound of boneless, skinless chicken breasts and cut them into strips. Create a marinade using two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon each of fish sauce, lime juice, and honey, two minced garlic cloves, and a teaspoon each of ground cumin and coriander. Once the marinade is ready, immerse the chicken strips in it, ensuring they are well coated. Let this sit and marinate for at least 30 minutes. While the chicken is marinating, begin to prepare the coconut lime quinoa. In a saucepan, combine a cup of quinoa, a cup each of coconut milk and water, the zest and juice of one lime, and a pinch of salt. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat and let it simmer. Cover the saucepan and wait for the quinoa to cook and the liquid to absorb. Next, it's time to make the peanut sauce. Combine half a cup of creamy peanut butter, three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of lime juice, a tablespoon of honey, a teaspoon each of sesame oil and grated fresh ginger, and one minced garlic clove. Whisk these ingredients together in a small bowl. If needed, add water to achieve a pourable consistency. Now, returning to the chicken, preheat the grill or grill pan. Thread the marinated chicken strips onto the soaked wooden skewers. Grill each side for four to five minutes until the chicken is fully cooked and slightly charred. Finally, it's time to serve this delightful dish. Plate the coconut lime quinoa, arrange the grilled chicken skewers on top, and drizzle with the peanut sauce. For a finishing touch, garnish with chopped cilantro and serve with lime wedges on the side. This Thai fusion delight is a perfect blend of traditional Thai elements with a modern twist. The classic flavors of Thai chicken satay combined with the richness of coconut lime quinoa and a delightful peanut sauce create a dish that is not only delicious but also creative. Enjoy this fusion of Thai and contemporary elements in your very own home. Ever wondered how a blend of Big Mac and Whopper would taste like? Imagine bringing together the best of both worlds. McDonald's secret sauce and sesame seed bun with Burger King's flame-grilled beef patty and crisp vegetables. We're talking about the creation of a culinary Frankenstein, a homemade Big Mac Whopper. This unique combination of two fast food titans is a testament to the iconic and worldwide beloved features of both burgers. Today, you will learn how to create this delicious hybrid right in your own kitchen. Before the cooking begins, gather all the necessary ingredients. To bring our Big Mac Whopper to life, Here's what you'll need. Let's start with the heart of the burger, the patties. Get some premium ground beef. For the buns, go for sesame seed ones to give that authentic fast food touch. Next up, let's not forget the cheese. American cheese slices are the classic choice. Now, for the fresh crunch, we'll need some crisp iceberg lettuce and thinly sliced white onions. Of course, a burger isn't complete without some tangy pickles. And the secret to our Big Mac Whopper, the special sauce. For this, you'll need mayonnaise, French dressing, sweet pickle relish, finely minced white onion, white vinegar, sugar, and a dash of salt. Remember, this is your homemade interpretation of the Big Mac Whopper. Feel free to add or remove ingredients based on your preferences. Once you have all these ingredients ready, you can start the fun part, cooking. Now it's time to get hands-on and start preparing your Big Mac Whopper. First things first, let's talk patties. You're going to want two juicy beef patties, seasoned with a bit of salt and pepper. Get your pan nice and hot, then slap those beauties on there. Cook them for about three to four minutes on each side until they're sizzling and browned to perfection. While those are cooking, let's move on to the buns. You'll need three pieces of a sesame seed bun, a top, a bottom, and a middle. Lightly toast them for that classic fast food crunch. But remember, we're not aiming for charcoal here, so keep a close eye on your toasting buns. Meanwhile, it's time to slice and dice. You'll need some fresh lettuce, a ripe tomato, and some crisp onions. Slice them thinly for that perfect bite. And don't forget the pickles. No burger is complete without a couple of zingy, crunchy pickles. Now let's talk sauce. To capture that signature flavor, you'll need to whip up a special sauce. Combine some mayonnaise, ketchup, a bit of mustard, relish, vinegar, garlic powder, onion powder, and a dash of paprika. Mix it all together and there you have it a sauce that packs a punch and brings all the elements of your burger together. Once your patties are cooked and your buns are toasted, it's time to assemble. Start with a dollop of your special sauce on the bottom bun. 
Then layer on some lettuce, a slice of tomato, and a slice of onion. Place one patty on top, followed by the middle bun, another dollop of sauce, more veggies, your second patty, and finally, the top bun. And voila, you have assembled all the components of your Big Mac Whopper. Now that's a burger that's sure to satisfy any fast food craving, right in the comfort of your own kitchen. You're almost there. Now, for the final touches. It's time to bring our Big Mac Whopper to life. Start with your toasted bun, warm and crisp, ready to hold the magic within. Next, place one of your juicy, sizzling patties on the bun, followed by a slice of your favorite cheese. Let the heat of the patty gently melt the cheese, creating a creamy layer of goodness. Now, remember those fresh veggies we sliced earlier? Layer them next. The crunch of lettuce, the tang of pickles, the sweetness of onions, and the juiciness of tomatoes. They add a sharp contrast to the meaty, cheesy base. Then comes another patty, another slice of cheese, and a generous dollop of our homemade special sauce. Top it all off with the other half of your bun. Feel free to arrange these layers in your own preferred order. That's the beauty of making it at home. There you have it, a homemade Big Mac Whopper, ready to be devoured. You've successfully made a Big Mac Whopper at home. This culinary adventure brought together the iconic flavors of Big Mac and Whopper into one mouthwatering burger. We started with fresh ingredients, then carefully layered each element, from the specially seasoned patties to the tangy homemade sauce. The result? A fusion of fast food wonders that's customizable and cooked to perfection in the comfort of your own kitchen. Next time you crave a Big Mac or a Whopper, remember you can enjoy the best of both worlds with your homemade Big Mac Whopper. Happy cooking! Ever wondered what the greatest appetizer ever made is? Appetizers, those tantalizing starters that set the tone for the culinary journey ahead. They come in all shapes, sizes, and flavors from every corner of the globe. From delicate canapes in France to spicy street food in Thailand, appetizers are the unsung heroes of a meal. They whet our appetite, teasing our taste buds, preparing us for the main course. Stay tuned as we unravel the recipe of what many believe to be the greatest appetizer ever made. The star of today's show is the timeless classic bruschetta. Originating from the rustic kitchens of Italy, bruschetta has become a universally loved appetizer. This simple yet exotic dish, with its fresh ingredients and inviting aroma, captures the essence of Italian cuisine in a bite-sized serving. Its magic lies in the harmony of flavors. The juicy tomatoes, aromatic basil, and the crusty bread all coming together perfectly. It's a testament to how simplicity can yield the most delightful results. Are you ready to enter the world of bruschetta? Here's how to prepare this masterpiece at home. First things first, gather your ingredients. The beauty of this appetizer lies in its simplicity and the quality of the ingredients we're going to use. Let's start with the star of the show, a beautiful crusty baguette. You want something that's got a good crunch to it, but also has a soft, airy interior. Next, we need fresh tomatoes, ripe, juicy, and bursting with flavor. These are going to lend a lovely sweet and tangy punch to our appetizer. Moving on, we have garlic. A couple of cloves will do, but feel free to use more if you're a fan of its pungent, spicy kick. Then, there's basil. This aromatic herb is going to add a fresh, peppery note to our dish. Make sure you're using fresh basil leaves for maximum flavor impact. Now, onto the olive oil. A good quality extra virgin olive oil will bring all our ingredients together, adding a rich, fruity taste and a silky texture. Finally, we need salt and pepper. These seasonings will elevate the natural flavors of our ingredients, making them shine in harmony. Remember, the key to a great appetizer is using fresh, quality ingredients. They are the soul of any recipe and will make your dish stand out from the crowd. Now that we have everything ready, let's dive into the creation of this appetizer. With all ingredients at hand, it's time to bring our bruschetta to life. Start by slicing the baguette diagonally into half-inch thick slices. This gives the bread more surface area to hold our delicious topping. Next, we'll toast the sliced baguette. You can use a toaster, but for an authentic touch, try grilling them. Just remember to keep an eye on them, as we want them golden brown, not blackened. While our bread is toasting, we'll prepare the tomato topping. Dice ripe tomatoes into small pieces, ensuring each piece is a burst of flavor. Toss the diced tomatoes in a bowl with minced garlic, chopped fresh basil, a drizzle of olive oil, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Mix it all together and let it sit for a few minutes to let the flavors meld. Our bread should be nicely toasted by now. Let's assemble our bruschetta. Spoon generous heaps of the tomato mixture onto each toast slice. 
the bread will soak up some of the juices, making each bite a perfect mix of crunchy and juicy. If you want, you can add a sprinkle of grated parmesan or a drizzle of balsamic glaze for an extra flavor punch. But even in its simplest form, this bruschetta is a showstopper. And there you have it, the greatest appetizer ever made, the classic bruschetta. Cloud bread. It's not just an Instagram sensation, it's a culinary revelation, a delightful paradox. It's bread, but it's not bread. It's light, fluffy, and cloud-like, hence the name. Yet it packs a punch when it comes to nutritional value. It's a low-carb, gluten-free alternative to traditional bread, making it a popular choice for those pursuing a healthier lifestyle or following a keto diet. Imagine making bread with just three ingredients, eggs, cream cheese, and cream of tartar. Sounds intriguing, right? Start by preheating your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius. While the oven is warming up, line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Now, crack open three large eggs, deftly separating the whites from the yolks, placing them in two separate bowls. In the bowl with the yolks, add three tablespoons of softened cream cheese. Mix it until you achieve a smooth, creamy consistency. In the other bowl, with the egg whites, sprinkle a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. This is where an electric mixer comes handy. Whip those egg whites until they form stiff peaks, a sure sign they're ready. Now comes the delicate part. Gently fold the creamy yolk and cream cheese mixture into the beaten egg whites. The key here is to maintain the airy texture, so take your time, blend them well. Next, spoon the mixture onto the parchment-lined baking sheet, shaping them into rounds that mimic the look of bread. Into the preheated oven, they go for about 25 to 30 minutes, or until they turn a lovely golden color and firm up a bit. After taking them out of the oven, let the cloud bread cool down before using them. Patience is a virtue here. Remember, good things come to those who wait. And voila, you've just made low-carb cloud bread. It's a versatile substitute for conventional bread. You can use it for sandwiches, burgers, or even as a base for mini pizzas. Feel free to add your own twist by incorporating herbs or spices for extra flavor. So there you have it. Low-carb cloud bread. It's fluffy, it's tasty, it's low-carb, and it's incredibly easy to make. It's the perfect companion for a healthy lifestyle, a testament to the fact that delicious and nutritious can indeed go hand in hand. Enjoy your cloud bread and remember, healthy eating doesn't mean compromising on taste. It's about making the right choices, and sometimes, those choices can be as light and fluffy as a cloud. Ever wondered how a hearty and flavorful village chicken stew is made? The answer lies not just in the ingredients, but in the love and care that goes into preparing this comforting dish. So, buckle up as we journey through this culinary adventure. First, we start with a whole chicken cut into pieces. Rinse these under cold water and pat them dry, seasoning with a bit of salt and pepper to taste. Now it's time for some heat. In a large pot, olive oil sizzles over medium heat, waiting to embrace the chicken pieces. Brown them on all sides, then set them aside for now. They'll be back, don't worry. Next, it's the onions and garlic's turn to dance in the pot. As they saute, their aroma fills the air, their translucent bodies a sign that it's time to stir in the vegetables. Tomatoes, carrots, potatoes, bell pepper, green beans, and peas join the pot, cooking until they begin to soften. Their vibrant colors paint a beautiful culinary picture. Now, add the tomato paste, bay leaves, dried thyme, paprika, salt, and pepper. Stirring to coat the vegetables and the tomato paste and spices, the pot becomes a medley of flavors. The browned chicken pieces return to the pot, nestling among the vegetables. Pour in the chicken broth, covering the ingredients and setting the stage for the simmer. Bring the stew to a boil, then reduce the heat to low. As it simmers, the flavors meld together, the chicken cooks through, and the vegetables become tender. Before serving, it's time for a taste test. Adjust the seasoning if necessary adding more salt, pepper, or herbs to suit your preference. Remove the bay leaves and garnish the village chicken stew with fresh parsley. Now, it's ready to be served and savored, hot and delicious, either on its own or with crusty bread for a complete and satisfying meal. This village chicken stew, rich with flavors and brimming with nourishment, embodies the essence of traditional village cooking. Adapt the ingredients based on what's available locally and feel free to make it your own. 
After all, the best recipes are the ones that are shared, loved, and made with a personal touch. So, enjoy this culinary journey and relish the heartiness of the village chicken stew. Ever wondered what makes a ham and Swiss cheese sandwich so delectable? Why it's that mouth-watering combination of savory ham, gooey Swiss cheese, and the perfect dash of mustard, all nestled between two slices of freshly baked bread. Imagine this, the bread, soft yet sturdy, acting as the perfect canvas for this masterpiece. First, a generous spread of mustard on each slice, tangy and zesty, setting the stage for what's to come. Next, the ham. Oh, the ham, hand-sliced, hickory-smoked, and full of flavor. It's layered on, slice after slice, until it forms a succulent stack of savory goodness that makes your mouth water in anticipation. But wait, the sandwich isn't complete without the Swiss cheese, is it? That's right, the cheese is the star of this show. Creamy, slightly sweet, and oh-so-melty, it's laid atop the ham, ready to be melted to perfection. A quick trip to the toaster oven, and voila! The cheese melts into the ham, creating a mesh of flavors that's nothing short of exquisite. And there you have it, a simple yet delicious ham and Swiss cheese sandwich made from scratch. It's a symphony of flavors, with each ingredient playing its part to create a sandwich that's truly a delight to eat. To recap, start with fresh bread and a good spread of mustard. Layer on the ham, top it with Swiss cheese, and toast it to perfection. The result? A sandwich that's more than the sum of its parts, a culinary masterpiece that's as pleasing to the palate as it is to the eye. So next time you're craving something good, remember a ham and Swiss cheese sandwich is more than just a quick lunch. It's a taste of excellence. And now you know exactly how to make one. Sloppy Joe's Sandwich A Feast For The Tough Guy Recipe Sloppy Joe's Sandwich A Feast For The Tough Guy Recipe. Ingredients. For the sloppy joe filling. 1. 1 pound ground beef. 2. 1 small onion, finely diced. 3. 1 bell pepper, finely diced. 4. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 5. 1 cup ketchup. 6. 1 quarter cup brown sugar. 7. 2 tablespoons Worcestershire sauce. 8. 1 tablespoon mustard. 9. 1 teaspoon chili powder 10. Salt and pepper to taste For the sandwich 1. Soft hamburger buns 2. Sliced cheddar cheese 3. Pickles, sliced 4. Jalapeno slices, optional for an extra kick 5. Coleslaw, optional, for topping Instructions Prepare the sloppy joe filling 1. In a large skillet over medium heat brown the ground beef until fully cooked. 2. Drain excess fat and add diced onions, bell peppers, and minced garlic. 2. Sauté until the vegetables are softened. Add sauce and seasonings. 1. Stir in ketchup, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce, mustard, chili powder, salt, and pepper. 1. Simmer the mixture for 10-15 minutes, allowing the flavors to meld and the sauce to thicken. Toast the buns. 1. While the sloppy joe filling simmers, lightly toast the hamburger buns in a toaster or on a griddle. Assemble the sandwich. 1. Spoon a generous amount of the sloppy joe filling onto the bottom half of each toasted bun. 2. Top with a slice of cheddar cheese, pickles, jalapeno slices, if desired, and a dollop of coleslaw. Top with the other half. 1. Place the other half of the toasted bun on top, pressing down gently to hold the sandwich together. Serve and enjoy the feast. 1. Serve these hearty Sloppy Joe's sandwiches immediately, and be ready for a feast fit for a tough guy. The combination of savory, sweet, and spicy flavors is sure to satisfy any appetite. This Sloppy Joe's sandwich recipe is not only delicious but also packs a punch of bold flavors. The addition of cheddar cheese, pickles, and optional jalapenos takes this classic sandwich to a whole new level. Enjoy the hearty feast. Ever thought of making a sandwich that's crazy good? Well, today is your lucky day. Welcome to a delightful and indulgent journey of creating the Crazy Egg Supreme Sandwich. It's a fantastic blend of eggs, bacon, cheese, avocado, and a variety of other flavorful ingredients. Sounds delicious, right? First off, gather your ingredients. You'll need four large eggs, four toasted English muffins, four slices of crispy bacon, four slices of Swiss or cheddar cheese, one sliced avocado, one medium sliced tomato, 
fresh lettuce leaves, and sriracha mayo. Don't forget salt, pepper, and butter for cooking the eggs. Kick off the process by preparing the eggs. In a non-stick pan, melt a bit of butter over medium heat. Crack those eggs into the pan and cook them to your liking. Fried, scrambled, or poached. It's your choice. Season them with salt and pepper. Now, it's time to build the sandwiches. Start with a slice of cheese on the bottom half of each toasted English muffin. Top it with the cooked eggs, crispy bacon, avocado slices, tomato slices, and fresh lettuce leaves. Feeling spicy? Drizzle some sriracha mayo over the ingredients. This is where you can adjust the heat according to your preference. And finally, top it off with the remaining half of the toasted English muffins. Voila! Your Crazy Egg Supreme sandwich is ready. Serve it immediately while the eggs are still warm. Now here's a bonus tip. If you want to take it to the next level, you can add extras like sliced jalapenos, red onion rings, or a sprinkle of your favorite herbs. This Crazy Egg Supreme sandwich is not just a sandwich, it's an experience. It combines the richness of eggs, the crispiness of bacon, the creaminess of avocado, and the freshness of vegetables. All these elements come together to create one crazy good bite. Whether it's breakfast, brunch, or a random snack time, this indulgent sandwich is perfect for any moment you're in the mood for a flavorful treat. So go ahead, give it a try, and relish the taste of this crazy good sandwich. Funky Monkey Bread Madness, a crazy twist on the classic monkey bread with unexpected flavors. Here's a playful and flavorful recipe for Funky Monkey Bread Madness that brings a crazy twist to the classic monkey bread. Funky Monkey Bread Madness. Ingredients. For the monkey bread, three cans refrigerated biscuit dough, about 7.5 ounces each. One. One cup granulated sugar. Two. 1 tablespoon ground cinnamon 3 1 cup unsalted butter, melted 4 1 cup brown sugar, packed 5 1 half cup chopped nuts, walnuts or pecans, optional 6 For the funky twist 1 cup assorted dried fruits, apricots, cranberries, raisins 1 Zest of 1 orange 2 1 teaspoon nutmeg, ground 3 1 teaspoon vanilla extract 4 Instructions Preheat the oven Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius 1. Grease a bundt pan generously Prepare the monkey bread dough 1. Cut each biscuit into quarters 1. In a large bowl, mix granulated sugar and ground cinnamon. 1. Toss the biscuit quarters in the cinnamon sugar mixture until well coated. Assemble the monkey bread. 1. Layer the biscuit quarters in the prepared bundt pan. 1. If desired, sprinkle chopped nuts between the layers. Create the funky twist mixture. 1. In a separate bowl, combine the assorted dried fruits, orange zest, nutmeg, and vanilla extract. 1. Mix well to create the funky twist mixture. Add the funky twist. 1. Sprinkle the funky twist mixture over the layered biscuit quarters in the bundt pan. Prepare the glaze. 1. In a saucepan, melt the butter over medium heat. 1. Add brown sugar and stir until the sugar is dissolved. 1. Pour the buttery glaze over the layered biscuits and funky twist mixture. Bake. 1. Bake in the preheated oven for 35-40 minutes or until the top is golden brown and the monkey bread is cooked through. Cool and invert. 1. Allow the funky monkey bread madness to cool for about 10 minutes. 1. Invert the bundt pan onto a serving plate to release the monkey bread. Serve and go bananas. 1. Serve the funky monkey bread madness while it's warm. 1. Pull apart the gooey and flavorful pieces and go bananas with the unexpected flavors. This crazy twist on monkey bread with unexpected flavors and a funky twist is sure to add a playful and delightful madness to your dessert table. Enjoy the fun and unique combination of textures and tastes in every bite. Have you ever wondered how to make the viral Dalgona coffee at home? 
This frothy, layered coffee drink has taken social media by storm, and for good reason. It's a delightful blend of creamy whipped coffee and milk, served hot or cold. So, without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. To start, gather these simple ingredients. Two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of hot water, and your preferred amount of milk, either hot or cold. Begin by combining the instant coffee, sugar and hot water in a bowl. This forms the base of your Dalgona coffee. Now roll up your sleeves and get ready to whip. Using a hand mixer or whisk, whip the mixture vigorously. Keep going until it thickens and forms stiff peaks. This is the crucial step that gives Dalgona coffee its signature frothy texture. Next, prepare your milk. Whether you prefer it heated up for a comforting warm drink or chilled for a refreshing cold one is entirely up to you. Pour the milk into a glass, leaving some room for your whipped coffee. Now comes the fun part. Spoon the whipped coffee mixture over your milk. The frothy coffee will float on top, creating that beautiful layered effect that Dalgona coffee is known for. If you prefer a more integrated flavour, feel free to stir the whipped coffee into the milk before taking that first sip. And there you have it, Dalgona coffee, right at your fingertips. This visually appealing, fun and flavourful drink is sure to add a little more excitement to your daily coffee routine, so go ahead, whip up a batch of Dalgona coffee today and enjoy a taste of this viral sensation.